Well, I can't be happier. I'm sitting in their outdoor living space and I've actually just sat down for about 10 minutes just to kind of soak it all in. It's phenomenal. Plants are working out exactly the way I pictured them. The whole thing looks good. It sounds amazing. Just imagine this space being yours. Without further ado, check this out. Show this on the net.
tell you no, we did a good job. The homeowners are out here FaceTiming the rest of their family, walking around like billy goats. <laughs> he just yelled back and said, this is a rock uh, climbing class. Yeah, two thumbs up, that's so awesome. So let's take you inside. Show you the view from inside, because this is what matters to me the most. So just imagine looking out from their family room, their kitchen, and that's their view. Look at how the pond comes right up to the edge here. So awesome. And then you look across, there's that infinity edge right there. No idea where it goes. Big waterfalls in the backdrop. That's where our patio is gonna be, over in there. So we put in the brick again with that patio to cantilever out over the top of everything. It just looks amazing. Right with Team Aquascape. I'm sitting in my car and I've actually got butterflies in my stomach. We're out here at our Palos Park job. Now we finished this about a week ago and I wanted to come and do some wrap up videos when we were all done with the landscaping and everything else and I couldn't wait any longer. The customer sent me some photos of some of the plants that were going in and I was like, holy. <laughs> but his exact words were, I couldn't do small wimpy plants around our masterpiece. So they absolutely love our project and I can't wait to see how things are coming together. Let's go see what's going on. All right, so you can see all the trucks. They're just everywhere. Everybody's coming in to finish. Touch of Green is doing the landscape out here. So I had butterflies in my stomach 30 seconds ago and now I'm just out of nerves because I wanted to see what was happening. But I'm gonna turn this around and just look at this. This is so cool. can't be happier. I'm sitting in their outdoor living space and I've actually just sat down for about 10 minutes just to kind of soak it all in. It's phenomenal. Plants are working out exactly the way I pictured them. Touch of Green is actually doing a really, really killer job with this. Love the giant spruces they got in here. I'm not even sure how they got them in here, but they got, they got them in here. The whole thing looks good. It sounds amazing. Just imagine this space being yours. Without further ado, check this out. Is that not the coolest thing ever? So awesome. So here's our pond coming right up to the edge here. That's our infinity edge over there. The wetland filter is kind of in this space. Big bur oak right here. Some massive spruce trees back there, really setting that waterfall off in the back. What I kind of like is like from here, especially with the camera, it looks like those waterfalls might even be attached to this. Really awesome patio over here. I would have never thought to do the planking there, but I love the way that looks. Such a cool addition there. And then you can see, you know, that's where we did our wall stone inside. The liner came up the back and got this in there. They cut around that big boulder, which looks amazing. Look at the reflection. Like when that thing's all leafed out. I mean, you can see the clouds right now. Oh my God, how awesome is that gonna be? Every day looking down into there and seeing the reflection of the sky in that tree. It's literally impossible for me to tell you what my favorite part is. I don't know if it's the way the patio comes right up to the pond. I always like that really clean look someplace in the pond. I love the way it comes up to the foundation of the house right in here. Of course, I love this infinity edge and then the way that waterfall looks from that future fire pit space over there. What makes it look great is the way the touch of green has come in and dropped these giant big 12, 15 foot spruce trees up on the top, instantly scaling down that berm so it doesn't feel like such a ant hill. I love, love, love that I have a crew that can support and share my vision and take some of the vision to themselves. I mean, Chris did an outstanding job running with a waterfall that I started 
started with and then finishing it off looks great. It was a bucket list project for me. It's the first time I was actually able to pull off a infinity edge type water feature. And in Illinois, that's a hard, hard thing to do because everything's so flat. This is definitely gonna be one of those projects where year after year after year, it just gets better and better and better. So guys, thanks for the patience. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. Put some more in there, share it with your friends. Tell them to subscribe. Tell me what your favorite part was. If you guys ever have an idea for a water feature that we haven't built yet, let me know and maybe in the near future, I can try to design something that inspires you guys. Thanks so much, enjoy, have a great Thanksgiving and uh, great holidays. Bye. <laughs>